welcome. For this first series of exercises, we shall cover basic controls and begin by seeing how to pedal. Allez les gars, courage Bravo On te suit Good. Pressing harder allows you to ride faster. But beware, this also means consuming more energy. Now, you have to negotiate a series of bends by controlling the brakes. You must brake when the trajectory is red, because it means that you are riding too fast. Very good. You are in control of your bike. Remember to manage your braking. It will avoid you having to pick up the pace too often and thus consume too much energy. To complete this series of exercises, we shall see how to attack or sprint. This allows you to drop your opponents, to break away or to sprint to victory in case of a bunched finish. Excellent. Remember that you can only attack if you have some red energy, and that you don't necessarily need to attack all out to drop your opponents. This training exercise is over. If you want to go deeper into certain points, discover advanced features, or simply learn more about the Tour de France, you can consult the manual via the main menu. In this series of exercises, we shall cover one of cycling's essentials, energy. To begin, try to reach the top of this climb before the allotted time runs out. Watch out, you have very little energy. You have just blown up. That's what happens when you have no more energy. With the little that you had, it was inevitable. Blowing up must be avoided at all costs during a race, because major effort is impossible and you will lose a lot of time. It is worth knowing that drag increases with speed. Drag is represented by the red zone. The bigger it is, the more you are slowed. You can reduce this drag by using the slipstream of the riders around you. The windsock tells you where they must be in order for you to use their slipstream. Good. You know how to protect yourself. You can also check to see if you are well protected by looking at the air streams at your elbows. If you can see them, drag is high. Remember that to win you cannot stay permanently in a slipstream. You must expose yourself when necessary. We shall now see how to use your two feet. The blue energy gel raises the energy gauge. 
while the red gel raises the attack gauge. On each stage, there is a feed zone that allows you to pick up two new feeds with which to finish the stage. You therefore have two feeds to be consumed before the feed zone, and two others to be consumed after the feed zone. Consume them at the right moment. For the last exercise, let's look at the aerodynamic position. This position is useful on descents, because it allows you to recover energy without losing speed. Perfect! The aerodynamic position is especially effective on downhill slopes of over 6% because they allow you to freewheel at quite high speed without losing time. This technique will be very useful to you when riding down from mountain passes. This training exercise is over. If you want to go deeper into certain points, discover advanced features, or simply learn more about the Tour de France, you can consult the manual via the main menu. During this series of exercises, we shall look at new means of control. Let's begin with effort control, which will allow you to maintain a constant level of effort. Very good. When it is activated, you can adjust the level of effort up or down. Be careful though. When you manage your effort in this way, you cannot attack. To cancel effort control, you just need to brake, accelerate or attack. For this exercise, you will have to follow the team member in front of you by settling in behind him. You will no longer need to control your direction or your effort. Okay. Following a rider lets you stay close to him and follow his trajectory. Be careful to properly monitor your energy, because if the rider that you are following is going too fast, he can cause you to blow up. To finish, you have some bike throw exercises. It is a technique that you can use 100 meters before an intermediate sprint or the finishing line. Within these zones, this action can gain you a few centimeters that will put you in front of an opponent.
Excellent. This action must be executed with perfect timing in order to be effective. If you throw the bike too soon, you will lose a lot of speed before reaching the line and risk losing the race. This training exercise is over. If you want to go deeper into certain points, discover advanced features. series of exercises, we shall explore the possibilities offered by TeamCom. The first thing to know is that it allows you to give collective instructions to change the behavior of all team members present in the same group. Okay, we'll relay hard. Good. Among the collective instructions, there is sometimes one that is marked with an asterisk. This is the instruction that I suggest to you at this moment in the race. You are free to follow this suggestion or not. We have just seen how to use collective instructions to change the behavior of your team members. But TeamCom can also allow you to give instructions to one rider in particular. Okay, I'll put in a big acceleration. Okay, you can also select several team members at the same time and give them the same instruction. Don't forget to consult the manual to get a description of each instruction. With TeamCom, you can also take control of another rider at any moment. We're at the final exercise. Beyond communications, TeamCom also allows you to accelerate forward if you think that there is no danger. Very good. Acceleration varies according to the pressure you apply. You should also know that you can use fast forward to choose where you take back control of your rider. You could try this feature during road race stages. Oh, 
this training exercise is over. If you want to go deeper into certain points, discover advanced features, or simply learn more... Hi guys! Welcome to the briefing for this first stage. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and without any difficulties. But be on your guard as the wind can lead to Bordeaux. We can target a top 10 place and maybe even better if the stage favourites are caught out by the wind. Have a good stage guys! Go! Go! <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This 100% Vendean stage will send shivers through the peloton. With a route that follows the coast and a final portion that is completely exposed to the wind, there is a high chance of borges. Victory today will require both strength and cunning. The Barouders will no doubt try something at the beginning of this stage. Normally the sprinters' teams would allow them little chance of victory, but today, with the likelihood of Borges, being part of an early breakaway could prove to be a worthwhile tactic. Things are livening up at the head of the peloton. Attempt at a counter-attack. One minute for the breakaway. It's looking good. 
His teammates have already started the pursuit. No doubt aiming for a sprint finish. A very good puncher. He can try to get the upper hand in short climbs, but he can also afford to wait for the sprint given his not inconsiderable speed. The breakaway threatens the overall standings. He's decided to get his guys to put their foot down. He's got a good turn of speed, but he struggles as soon as the road rises a little. Attack at the head of the peloton. Today's route is totally flat. There won't even be any points up for grab in the mountains classification. It doesn't seem to be a good day for him. He's being distanced. His best chance of victory is to try a breakaway from far out. If he wants to take points for the polka dot jersey, he must break away. Peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. Here's a pure ruler. Make sure you don't leave him alone up front. It will be difficult to catch him and it's better for him to finish on his own. Attack at the head of the peloton.
The lead riders are passing through Saint-Jean-de-Mont, a seaside resort renowned for its eight-kilometer beach. The riders will then continue on through other Vendean towns, well known to holiday makers, such as Saint-Hilaire de Riez or saint gilles Croix de Vie. Watch out! You're not going to be able to attack for much longer! The time gap between the peloton and the breakaway is decreasing. He's a very good puncher, he's rather limited in the mountains and his top speed is not really a reliable asset. 